coronavirus has hindered that event because about six to seven um, motor racing events have been postponed due to COVID-19. We have Sulu Adeyemoye, Formula One expert, talking to us this morning about uh, the effect of the coronavirus on Formula One Grand Prix. Welcome to the show, Sulu. Good morning, Ojoka. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm very well. So it's okay, good to I'm have you. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm I'm trying my best to stay safe. All right. Um, yes. Um, if, if you want to see how uh, all of us uh, we were eat uh, with the pandemic, uh, talking about the coronavirus. Yeah. I mean, there's no sport that has been left out of this of this pandemic, and Formula One as a sport to was also affected. I mean, at the start of the year 2020, we were looking forward to a 22, to a record 22 race championship uh, in the year 2020. But, I mean, the first race in Australia couldn't hold. Even before that, there was an announcement that the, the cancellation of the Chinese Grand Prix is the epicenter of this particular pandemic. So it's what it is. And from then on, some races will have been postponed, about three races have been cancelled altogether. And they are the Chinese Grand Prix, as I hinted earlier. I mean, the latest, the Monaco Grand Prix. And in between, we have the, the, uh, the Darwin Grand Prix, which has also been be cancelled. So it, it is what it is now. We are just hoping, uh, just as all the other stakeholders, especially the Formula 1 authority, talking about she's carrying I mean, who was quoted a uh, few years ago as saying that, yes, they will do everything humanly possible to ensure that we have a championship in 2020. What the Formula One needs for a championship to be is just a minimum of 10 races. Yeah. And as it is now, we still have like 15 races that will still go ahead, even though the Canadian Grand Prix that's supposed to come after the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, which has also been postponed anyway, yeah. we are saying that they are going to wait until the break of um, uh, Easter period, that's around April, uh, mid-April, when they are going to make the announcement to say whether uh, the Canadian Grand Prix will still go ahead or is going to be postponed. But in all of this, uh, Udoka, what thing that is critical is that safety force and uh, the championship being, I mean, going on depends largely on the progress made in terms of annihilating or eradicating uh, the effect of this uh, pandemic globally right now. Now, let's, um, the, the, next, the last question has to be the one still concerning the championship. Do you think it can still, we can still have about 10 races this year? Because we're not sure when the pandemic will end. So do you think we can still have about 10 races this year? And uh, is there any possibility of Lewis Hamilton still retaining that championship? Uh, if, if we are going to go by the optimism um, expressed by Chase Curry, I do think I'm so optimistic so that we are going to, we, is this possible to have at least 10 races? I mean, let's, let's do the math. Now, the races that have been, been postponed, they've been postponed up to the first week of June, which is the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, plated originally for June 7, but that is out now. So, which will be take eight races out of 22. So what we have left now is just a little under 15 races. So what that means now is that we now need to work, see how we can have those at least 10 races. But the people are that we are going to have more than 10 races. Yes, given that the pandemic is over by the summer. And that's we are talking, looking at something like June or towards June ending. Mm. If we can have the pandemic over by then, I'm um, so optimistic that I have so many races because all the teams, they are ready to make the sacrifice of going, uh, just going all around and even having two, maybe like back to back races in one week. All right. That's possible. So uh, I am so optimistic. But again, let's just hope and pray that this pandemic leaves us as soon as possible. All right. Thank you very much, Sully, for talking to us this morning. Always a pleasure, Joker.